Hello, back again with Tyler with SciTech, uh, making another YouTube video today. Today's video is going to be all about vertical guidance. And what is vertical guidance? Why is vertical guidance important? Uh, yeah, just a bunch of good stuff. We're going to be using the newest version of Trimble Earthworks. Uh, we're actually going to be using the simulator, so it'll be a good video to see what that's all about, how to use it. Uh, we're going to load up our own job, so uh, let's just, we'll get right to it. So right here I've got my training simulator. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just hit run on it. I've got a video on how to create this. Um, I can, you know, link it, link it in the description. Um, but yeah, I haven't really gone in depth on how to use it. So this will probably be the first video that does that. As we can see, a bunch of options now. I can run an excavator, a dozer, grader, compactor. I haven't even done this yet. And the compact loader, skid steer, small machine attachment. Um, but for this video, we'll run the dozer. We want all of our licenses. And we're just going to run the, the dual GNSS cab mount. So let's go ahead and we'll begin the simulation. So this is this is my simulator. So I'll use my keyboard. You know, I'll kind of give everybody the go around keyboard. I can raise the blade, lower the blade, tilt. Um, somehow I can rotate it. I forget. I can go forwards, left, right, back. I can speed up. Um, I can always hit the help button if I need to know. So to rotate my blade, uh, shift left arrow, easy enough. So shift left, rotates my blade. I can change my camera so I can, I can have the end cab view. So that's that. Let's go ahead and... Uh, fire up the earthwork simulator so what I like to do is I like to shrink this screen down a bit I do run the BlueStacks emulation I know you can get a TD520 or another tablet and run that but for the for what I do uh, running it right here on my PC is is the easiest way to do it super simple setup let me go over here to my games run the launch assistant Wait for my server to become active. Hit start. And yeah, let's let's get right into this. So the new big thing, if we take a look at version 2.7, reason I'm making this video, um, is because of this feature right here. Let's zoom in. Display the design line preview in cross-section view. So the design line shows how the cut fills are being calculated and can assist with operator understanding of how the overcut, yada, yada. Basically, it's this dotted line right here that shows us how the surface is going to basically get calculated when you're running in autos, how the blade calculates cut fills, how automatics work. Uh, I explain this to people when I'm out training, but this visual is is honestly incredible. Makes it so much so much more simple, so much easier to describe to a person exactly how guidance is going to work. So, um, uh, one thing I meant to do, I was going to load up my own job, so I'm going to go right here. Let me close out of this real quick. I'm going to go right here to load design. Let's blow this up. So, load design. And I can go to my USB drive where I already exported my job from SiteWorks, open up my project library, my projects folder, and I'm going to copy this training project. And uh, let me go back right here, all of my jobs, control V, paste. So now I've got my training project, yada, yada. So let me shrink this back down again on our launch assistant. So now I'll be able to load up my job. Go ahead and hit launch. Let me minimize this in the background so that we can see a little better. And yeah, so I'm going to go into my job setup. I'm going to change my job to my training project. My design is going to be my site grading. I do have my VCL, so I need to make sure that my surface model is selected. Going to hit apply. 
Okay, unsupported objects, there's probably something built into this file. Yep, so simulator's a little funky sometimes, but I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And yeah, so, you know, here is my full simulator. You know, I can, I can drive around. I'm using my little view here on the right. You know, I can, I can drive around faster, you know, we've got our design slopes. You know, it's it's really like playing a video game and you can break it as you see. Going a little too fast. So yeah, so we're gonna slow down a little bit. Let me let me see. Guys, I'm pretty sure they've got a road here somewhere. Let me zoom this out with my finger, you know Zoom out, so yeah, right click, I can reposition myself. Where is this road at? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're right on it now. A lot of design lines going on. And if I want to with my VCL, I can clean this stuff up. Press my shovel, and scroll up to my line work. Ah, they renamed it to Layers Manager. I can turn everything off and say, you know, let's look through here. Gonna look for some road features. Got some lot lines, sidewalk, road center line, DP. Doesn't look like my EP. Sidewalk is this purple line. There we go. EP. So we've got our EP right here. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Looks good. So now, you know, we've got the center line of our road. And then, yeah. So, what we are going to do is I'm not as interested in this 3D view as I am if I swipe my screen, two fingers to the left and right. I am interested in this cross-section view. So, if we, if we watch, and I'm going to put my blade down pretty close to grade, I'm going to hit the auto button. And you see it drops us down to grade. Let me zoom in over here. So when I'm running in autos, you know, we can we can see I'm going to back up a little bit. Just back it up a little bit. We're going to use this curb line right here to kind of guide us. If you watch the green vertical guidance line in the middle, you know, the the call I get is my blade is going all over the place and no, you know, Notice when I when I hit this spot right here, you know, look at what my blade does. It's diving into my curb. I'm gonna keep going, you know, as I go over. You know, now it's telling me I'm out of auto range. You know, if I lower my right side of my blade down, now it matches, you know, this section of the curb. You know, now it's kind of doing one of these. I'm kind of all over the place, you know. Maybe I'm just cutting through. You know, my blade is just acting real, real crazy, real funky. Maybe I want, you know, the, the big thing, that's just the big thing about this video is wherever that green line is in the center, we call it the vertical guidance line. I can change where it's at. I can press and hold on my blade button, change it from the center. I can change it to the left. So now if I hit apply, my guidance line is now here on the left. If I put it in autos, you know, I'm going to match whatever I see here. So if I, you know, move my dozer to the right, ever so slightly, you know, now I get another auto range, out of auto range. I want my blade to go down. I can't even get it there. You know, I, I can barely get it, but the system still can't handle it. Moving it back to the center, I, I can put it on the right. I can link it to my focus point. So now when I tap this button, move it to the left and the right, 
see it move, you know, left and to the right. I'm going to put it back in the center. So I'm talking about this update. Something has happened in this update. Let me, let me go in and show you. So at the top right up here, we've got the overlays button. If I press and hold on my overlays button, Bunch of bunch of options here now. You know, I can hide my machine. Notice my picture updates over here. I can get rid of my focus and guidance points. But design line preview is what I'm after. So watch this. Now, if I zoom in, you see this new dotted line. Watch when I put my blade close to the ground. It is actually matching this dotted line. So let me let me move my bulldozer back over to where it, it's just a visual aid. So as I move, it shows me how my cut fill values are getting calculated. Notice I'm matching this dotted line. You know, it looks like I need to fill to to the you know to the new GPS machine control user. They may think this means fill. You know, they're, they're thinking it should mean fill. When in reality, the way the systems function, the blade can't bend. I can't bend my blade. So it's just going to mat. You know, it's matching this little tiny surface right here. Zoom back out. You know, if I continue my journey, you know, watch how that guy, you know, showing me my blade wants to do this now. It's really cool. You know, it shows me that that's why on the left, I've got to fill. My blade physically can't make the distance. But yeah, it's showing me on the left, I need to fill half a foot. That's the distance from the tip of this blade to this dotted line. It's really cool. It, it actually helps in visualizing what you're doing. Um, shows you just it shows you how your blade is going to react. This really helps when you're overbuilding for your curb lines. You know, if you're you, you know if you want your three foot overbuild, you know, and you want to carry road grade, it, it you should see. You know, if I swing back over and I want to carry that road grade out, you know, there we go. That that's road grade right there, and it it should match and carry that out all the way. So that's just a little bit about vertical guidance, you know, that, that green line, the vertical guidance, the design line. Uh, what, what exactly do they call it? Design line preview. So, yeah, just a, you know, little little intro to the design line preview. You know, I'm sure some of you guys that have been running this for 10, 15 years, you know, you, you knew all about that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a really cool feature, really helpful. Uh, call up your SciTech, help them get you upgraded to Earthworks 2.7 to see that, you know, see that on your machines. Um, and yeah, let me know, you know, any questions, reach out in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.